Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to come on here and talk about the whole Ahmed Muhammad situation. As you guys know, I covered that situation extensively and I came to the conclusion that this young boy and his family were full of shit, okay? But now it's been announced that Ahmed, even though him and his family fled the country, they no longer, they no longer even live in Texas, they're not trying to sue the Texas school board for $15 million. You know, so this whole situation is a mess and it's causing a lot of controversy online. A lot of people are just really, really pissed off. Yeah, but a former you Irving student has something new for the district that put him in handcuffs, a threat of a multi-million dollar lawsuit. 14-year-old Ahmed Mohammed became a household name after he was arrested for a clock invention that the district called the hoax bomb. News H. Jason Wheeler outlines why Ahmed's family wants from Irving what they want from Irving ISD and the city of Irving. More than two months after this controversial clock showed up at Irving's MacArthur High School, legal action on behalf of Ahmed Mohammed, the 14-year-old who took it to class. His attorney asking Irving ISD and the city of Irving for public apologies and $15 million. The, the numbers are, are huge, and we admit that. But the damages that have been caused to this young man and to his family are effectively Incalculable. From his offices near Lubbock, attorney Kelly Hollingsworth is representing Ahmed and his family, who have since relocated out of the country to Cotter. The attorney claims that after a teacher became suspicious about the clock, Ahmed was subjected to on-campus detention and a seven-on-one interrogation that went on for approximately an hour and 25 minutes. Ahmed constantly was pressured to sign a written statement, he says, admitting that he intended to bring a hoax bomb to school. The attorney claims school officials and police knew what they needed to do to protect Ahmed's rights. They just decided not to because of his race, religion, and ethnicity, and that the city and school officials then fanned the flames in a divided community. You can find other cases where there's a wrongful arrest or detention. You can find where these types of mistakes are made by school officials. What you can't find is the second phase of all of this, which is when they went out into the media and had an orchestrated campaign against a 14-year-old boy. Hollingsworth the says the family wants to return to Texas, but didn't feel safe here anymore because of threats. On day one of his public involvement in the case now, he and his law firm are getting a taste of some of that backlash. Right now, every member of my staff and every lawyer in this law firm has been called expletives, been emailed expletives, and been, been called every name in the book. Jason Wheeler, Channel 8 News. We reached out to Irving ISD, city of Irving. Both are reviewing the legal paperwork and cannot You know, get... the thing that trips me out about this, because a lot of folks want to know my opinion about it, is you have people who have lost their lives, okay? You have people who have been tasered, you know, lost their lives, shot and killed by the police, and they didn't even get $15 million. You know, they might have got a million, two million, maybe four million. But this young man, where nothing really happened to him physically, he wasn't beat up, he wasn't assaulted, he may have been embarrassed, but it went viral. He got, you know, President Obama to give him props. You know, America offered him so much for this shitty ass clock that he didn't even create, okay? He was also offered to go on tour with MIT, which is one of the hardest tours to go on. They were willing to pay for his education, help him out, everything else. But obviously, when you're a fraud, you can't go on tours like that because he did not create that clock all he did was take the shell off i feel like in my heart of hearts the little boy did this for attention i was over the story soon after it came out once the information was coming out i was over it and my thing is how is it okay for him to try and sue the school district for 15 million dollars you know now i see a lot of people trying to support him and say well he deserves the money why does he deserve the money and where do people feel like this money is going to come from do people really feel like the school district just has 15 million dollars just lying around that money is going to come from the taxpayers in that county and that's going to take away from the other kids' education based off of one young boy's issue with the school system. I do not feel that Ahmed Muhammad nor his family deserve $15 million for this whole clock debacle and it's just sad that they're even trying to sue. They were talking about lawyering up the same day that everything went down. You know, I really feel like this whole situation was planned. The more I found out about his father, he's like literally the Kim Kardashian of the Arab world. His father has been involved in all types of get-rich-quick schemes to get money from the government and everything else. His sister was also suspended for the same thing, you know, a few years back. So I'm not buying anything that this family has to say. I do not feel like him or his entire family deserve $15 million. I don't feel like they deserve a penny. All they deserve is an apology and a sayonara, goodbye, have a good life. 
point blank period so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment how do you feel about the whole Ahmed situation do you feel like he deserves 15 million dollars for how he was treated because they claimed that his clock was a bomb and everything else or do you feel like this family is nothing but attention whores and they're just looking to get money any way they can so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.